have continuing coverage tonight of the closure of Michigan Pain Consultants. On Monday, the pain clinic started informing patients it was closing all of its locations in West Michigan over the next 90 days. Now, patients needing care are looking for new providers, which industry experts tell 13 on your side's Jeremiah Brown are getting harder to find. And it was during that appointment that he um, mentioned uh, or told me that they were closing and it would be my last appointment. During an appointment on Monday, Marsha Thompson learned that Michigan Pain Consultants would be closing. She is one of many patients who are now looking for new providers after MPC sent out messages that they were closing their locations over the next 90 days and discontinuing planned procedures. Find out all of a sudden you don't have a pain doctor any longer is it's shocking. Thompson explains that she immediately got to work to find a new doctor, as she says many are not accepting new patients. While now having her prescription successfully filled, she adds that she was even left uncertain if she would be able to still receive needed medications. It can be terrifying all of a sudden, you know, this has been your only source of medication um, for you to get uh, um, to help alleviate some of the, you know, it doesn't help me. Um, 100%. It helps a little bit enough that I can sleep at night, you know, with, to some degree and ha be able to get around to some degree during the day. The Institute for Chronic Pain is a national organization and says the closure is part of a trend stretching back 30 years. And so when a clinic like this closes, it puts a tremendous strain on not just those patients, but often the care circles and the people and the families that love them that are that are helping them. Brad Lawson says that comprehensive care for pain balances medications with other treatments that seek to care for the individual as a whole and says many have left the market due to changing economic conditions and facing stigma due to changing attitudes towards opioids. Comprehensive pain care, uh, providers are actually reimbursed less because more of the services they're doing are at a lower reimbursement rate often than people that just focus on interventional. Yet we know that the comprehensive approach is actually the approach that leads to patients returning to a quality of life. Jeremiah joins us now. Jeremiah, what can impacted patients do as they look for their next steps? Julia, while well, they can contact MPC for access to their medical records and have them sent to other clinics, the Institute for Chronic Pain suggests speaking to other providers to learn about how they treat chronic pain and to find a provider that best fits your needs. Certainly a difficult situation, Jeremiah, thank you.